I've been in Bangkok for over 60 days and life is amazing. But let me finish this workout and I'll tell you why. <laughs> so I currently just walked out the gym right now and this is one thing I love about this place. Look how nice and quiet this neighborhood. Beautiful, right? And boom, just like that. I'm in the city. Now, I love, I love New York City for the simple fact that you can walk everywhere and then you can catch a subway if you decide to go somewhere. But I truly think that Bangkok has one up on it because I can literally get on an app call my guy right here and he will pick me up where I'm at and drop me off to exactly where I want to go to for no more than three dollars and I'm talking about anywhere in the city of Bangkok anywhere come on and it's more fun I hope it's okay. And also another thing, do not get me started with the food. I mean, chicken, rice, veggies, and this meal is not even going to be $4. Come on, how do you beat that? Now, food, I mean, that's an obvious. You know Thai food is busting, fire. There's a whole bunch of Western foods here as well. I mean, you have all the basic restaurants, Burger King, Taco Bell, McDonald's. There's also burger joints that have fire ass burgers, little Wagyu burgers that they get from Australia since they're right there. So the food's not an issue. The food is A1. And also if you really want to, you can shop until you drop. I'm currently in one of six malls that's within walking distance of me. Even though the men's options are always a little slim, but it's all good. I don't really need too much black on black all the time, son. Okay, this might be a little bit of an L, but one thing there is for sure, and there will always be, is traffic everywhere all the time, no matter where you're at, there will always forever be traffic. Always. And forever. Now, another thing. Safety. I have not at one point since I've ever been here, at one point ever not felt safe. And I walk down this alleyway every night. Oh no, maybe it has something to do with me. I'm 6'3", I got tattoos, I got long hair, and I'm black. But I really don't think that's it. I just actually think that, like, in their culture over here, they're not, they're not fucking with you. Like, it, it, they don't want, that's not a thing out here. It's just, yo, the most, if I was walking around at night and there was nobody around and somebody pulled up on me, I swear the most they would do is it would be a tuk tuk guy and he would ask me where I was headed that time and then he'd be like, all right, so if you're not going anywhere now, where are you going tomorrow? Because I want to be the guy to drive you around. That's the most right there. That is the absolute most violence you will catch out here. All right, now this is my last point right here. When I'm in America, I don't interact with the city. And what I mean by that is I, I'm in my apartment. I leave my apartment, I get in my car, I drive somewhere, I get out of my car, I go wherever I'm going. I don't really talk to too many people. I may say hi to a couple people, but that's about it. I get back in my car and then I go back home. There's no fun in that. Out here, literally as soon as I walk downstairs, there's places to eat, there's people saying hi, there's drinks I can get. And if I want to go anywhere, all I have to do is call a motorbike and I'm literally out of there. And he'll take me to wherever I want to go for less than like $3. So the only other place in America that I can think of like this is New York City. And New York City is amazingly fire and I love New York City. But for what you would pay in rent alone at New York City or even food costs alone in New York City, you could live like a king fully here. That's the one, one main reason.
And I got these guys over here laughing at me. <laughs> thanks, bro. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> ah. And the people are fucking dope. Now, maybe I missed a couple things. Um, but just off the top of my dome, just going throughout my day, those are some of the things I realized since I've been out here. And I love it. I love it. Bangkok, it, woo! <laughs> it's all good. Traffic, it's always traffic. But Bangkok is one of my favorite cities in the entire world. And if we're talking overall, we're taking into account everything. We're talking about living, we're talking about cleanliness, we're talking about the city, we're talking about price, we're talking about literally everything that a city has to offer. And I swear you combine everything. And so far for me personally, Bangkok is on top. But I'm out. And I'm going back to Dubai tomorrow. Ah, I need a better sign off.